In this week's This Is Our Home, we take you to the Franklin County town, self-described as Vermont's covered bridge capital, and rightfully so. That's right, Montgomery, Vermont is a town with a lot of history, and it's all thanks to the people who keep the memories of the past alive. They say home is where the heart is, and that's especially the case for military vet Brent Godin, born and raised in Montgomery, Vermont. Moved out west for a little bit after retirement and uh, spent some time in Oregon and state of Washington. Lovely, great people, but the call back to Montgomery was too strong. After serving his country for many years, Godin now spends a bulk of his time serving his community as the town constable. He was also previously on the select board and even held the title of temporary animal control officer for a bit. He says service has always been the core of this small town. No matter who you are, if you're down in the dumps or you, you need help, everybody turns out to help. It's great. Does it feel good to know that you're helping your community? For sure. Sometimes it's um, a bit testing, you know, but no, I, I obviously I thrive on it. And it's easy to see why he fell in love with this place. Quiet, quaint, and full of history. Just ask Scott Perry, the chairman and president of the Montgomery Historical Society. This is Pratt Hall. Pratt Hall is uh, was a former Episcopal church. It was Montgomery's first church. Completed in 1835, the former church is now on the state's register for historical sites. Funny to think that the building was in such rough shape at one point, some people wanted to tear it down. Community members rallying together to prevent it from happening. They bought the building for a dollar in 1974 and since then we've probably spent close to a million dollars rehabbing it. Fast forward to now, Pratt Hall and its surrounding green space are essential to this town, from community events to farmers markets. And of course you can't come to Montgomery and not marvel at the covered bridges, all five that are still standing, with the six that sits on the town line with Enosburg, the most out of any town in the country. We kind of sit in the valley of the Trout River and have mountains all around, so we're right in the mountains. Um, and that same geography required them to have a lot of bridges. And whether you live in Montgomery Center or in the village, there's a little something for everyone in town. You've got pretty much anything you could want from an outdoor recreation enthusiast's perspective, whether it's hiking or fishing or We've got skiing up on Jay Peak. Select board chair Charlie Hancock knew instantly how incredible this town truly is. You hear oftentimes the lament at a state level around um, the drain on rural communities. Young people are fleeing. Well, we're seeing the opposite here. We're seeing young people who want to stay here. We're seeing young people who want to move back here and start families. For Hancock, what keeps him going is his love of the community and his hope for the future of Montgomery. You look around and as far as I'm concerned, it's the most beautiful place on earth. <laughs>